Welcome to the very first, but not final, Gymshark haul. Here's a large, okay, and here's a medium. This is my size. <laughs> you can never, ever, ever, ever have too many black sports bras. You're mine. You're mine. Today is July 8th, 2023, and um, I have a couple packages from Gymshark. Um, they had their big like summer sale or whatever recently. So of course I had to buy things. I just, I bought something from almost every single sale that they've ever done. No, I will never buy Gymshark full price. I'm a poor college student and I just don't work like that and that's okay. But anytime they have a sale, anytime that they, um, Honestly, yeah, anytime that they have a sale, I'm going to buy something. And one of these days, I'm going to film like my entire Gymshark collection because I'm going to give you a little snippet of backstory of my like Gymshark, of my Gymshark story. Um, I was 12 or 13 and I was living with my dad at the time. And I remember specifically watching Whitney Simmons, Karis Whitaker, um and grace beverly and those were like my three basically icons of my childhood that got me into the gym and lifting literally when i was 13 years old i would watch karis's like videos of her like home workout videos and i would follow those and i'd be in my basement of my dad's um condo doing like my little weights on my yoga mat and doing some like out home workout workouts and stuff and all of them were Gymshark athletes, like some of the OG, the very first Gymshark athletes. Obviously Whitney has had several collections with Gymshark and is has grown to be just like this beautiful, beautiful person. Um, and so those three women were so inspirational to me and they kind of got me started with Gymshark. And so I remember, I think it was Christmas for I don't know what year it was, maybe my freshman year of high school, um, I they had a big Black Friday sale because that was at the time that they never did anything on sale except for their Black Friday sales. Um, I was sitting down at the kitchen counter with my dad and I was like, these are the things I want. We have to do it quickly. Like it's gonna sell out, blah, blah, blah. And so we got some things and that those were like the first items that I purchased um, and I have a specific sports bra i think it's from the fit collection i'd have to like look in the archives for that but i think it's the fit collection sports bra um i still wear it from time to time just because it's cute and comfortable but that was the first ever gymshark item that i bought and if the day ever comes that i either a become a gymshark athlete b work for gymshark or c do something in the fitness industry that I'm really proud of. Um, I'm going to frame it, which is weird, I know. But that's how much Gymshark means to me. This is the only brand, company, anything that I can truly say I know almost everything about and am so passionate about why they do what they do. I don't even care that they make cute clothes. Like I just care about their missions and their values and everything that goes, everything that they represent, um, I fuck with that, to put it point blank. And so obviously, um, as a Gymshark stan, if you know me watching this, you know. Um, if you look on my Instagram, all of my little gym highlights, almost every single day that I have gone to the gym this year, I've been wearing a full outfit of Gymshark. And it's either Gymshark or Nike, or this one old Adidas sports bra I've had since like the sixth grade. I rest my case. Anyways, um, I'm going to do a separate video of my entire Gymshark collection, um, especially because they just launched the little cute activewear dresses. I have two of them that I got from Target for like 30 bucks, which is kind of a lot, but they're literally the cutest things ever. And they just came out with some and their new skirts, which I'm just like, why? 
So the second that they go on sale, you're mine. You're mine. But until then, I'm going to wait patiently and I'm going to appreciate the fact that I was able to buy these things with my own money and of course my AC is going to turn on. This thing is so loud. Um, I'm honestly just so appreciative that like I'm able to purchase these things with my own money. I have never been sponsored by Gymshark. I buy every single item of clothing that I have from them with my own money. Um, which is why I buy it on sale, because I'm a broke kid, it's fine. I use Libby Christensen's code. She's probably the top athlete that I watch um, on a regular basis. Everything that she does in her life is beautiful. I think her soul is beautiful. I think that she's so kind and positive and just radiates the kind of energy that I wanna radiate. I've never seen her not smile unless it's like being emotional over something that she's so happy about. But she's a beautiful human being, so if you, I don't know, are into like the fitness lifestyle content, go check her out because she is a beautiful human being and I love her. But now to actually get into what you guys are witnessing or what you guys want, um, I'm filming this at 9 o'clock at night. Um, I just picked up my packages and I'm definitely going to film the try-on portion of the video tomorrow morning. So those clips will look way better, much better lighting. You can actually see what they look like on me. I'll probably wear them to the gym tomorrow. Um, but I literally just couldn't wait. Like I am so, I'm so excited for these pieces. I didn't even get that much. Okay. I didn't really get anything that exciting. I just got some things that I thought were cute. I got some things that were from different collections that I ha don't have yet. Um, and I got some things from collections that I absolutely love and will wear for the rest of my life. So, let's get into it. Okay, this looks like the Sweat Seamless Shorts in the Aerospace Orange color. And I typically get my shorts in a size large. Um, I think a medium, I like the fit of a medium, but I almost think that they're too snug on me personally. All my size information will be in the description, but just to let you know, I am 5'8". I weigh like 180 pounds. I don't know. Girls, I'm, I'm a thick girl, okay? I'm not, whatever. Um, I think I weigh like 180 ish pounds, maybe 175. Um, I typically get a large in all of my bottoms and I typically get a medium in all of my tops. Um, I do, however, like to wash my larges in cold water and then I'll dry them, which will shrink Gymshark clothing. If you do that, if you dry them, your items will shrink. I'll typically just air dry them or lay them out on like my little clothing rack or whatever, um, but they will shrink if you dry them. So I like to wash my larges and then dry them once because then they'll get a little bit snugger, but they're not as snug as the mediums. I'm like, here's a large, okay, and here's a medium. This is my size <laughs> right in the middle. And so if you struggle with that, I think a good way to kind of overcome the sizing issues is size up and then dry your Gymshark clothing. Um, that's just something that's worked for me. But I got the Sweat Seamless Shorts Aerospace Orange, a size large. These colors that I got in the Sweat Seamless Shorts are from their new round of colors. I have the original red color and I have the original black color and those ones had issues with the little like thong covering kind of manipulation that they did with the fabric. And so it looks like you're wearing underwear. Like you can kind of see where they tried to darken that area, but I don't care because the sweat seamless shorts are probably the most flattering collection that I think they have. And so they're my favorite shorts and I have two pairs of each color, the black and the red. Um, so I don't even care. Like I'll wear them loud and proud. 
I don't give a shit. But these are the Aerospace Orange in a large. Um, I'm like so excited. Also, if you can't tell, I go to the University of Tennessee, so I wear a lot of orange. If you catch me wearing these on a game day, mind your business. Because I will be wearing these on a game day, okay? And I'll probably be sweating through them. So if you, if you see some of that sweat, also just mind your business. Mind your business. But, oh my gosh. I feel like these are softer than the original collection. Ooh. These might be, these might be softer and like, maybe it's just because I wash mine so many times, but literally this is the perfect, this is the perfect Tennessee orange. Oh my gosh. I will be wearing these on game days. Um, but these are the shorts right here. Obviously they have the little like scoop waistband, the scoop waistband that is so flattering. Um, I think that's what is my favorite part about these shorts is just the waistband. Um, it kind of comes in, you can see that it comes in pretty far. Um, and it's like really thick material, so it's gonna hold you in, which I just think is so flattering and I love. Um, and then this fabric is really, really stretchy and comfortable, so it doesn't squeeze my thighs together. Like, I hate. Um, I think it's just really flattering. They just fit me and hug me the right way in every direction. Um, and here, obviously, you've got the little Gymshark logo right there. Short number one, pair of shorts number one. I'm so gonna wear those on game day. I'm literally so excited for those. You have no idea. excited okay stop get off of me okay i got a whole bunch whole bunch of items here this looks like the i got two more colors of the bandeau sports bras i think that they're one of the most flattering sports bra collections that they have aside from the v-neck sports bras so i picked up a couple more colors and i'm really into the blues i have almost every shade of blue that they have this is the bando sports bra in pearl blue so this is a pearl blue and the lighting will be so much better in the try on that i do tomorrow when it's actually daytime outside um you can't really see the color but i really like it because it's got adjustable straps um that you can see like right there i'm literally i'm doing the little thing um it's probably not going to focus I don't know if it's focusing. I really like the adjustable straps um, because I really think it's, I don't know, I think it's cute when the girls do like both on one shoulder. And so if you need one of them longer for that, then you can do that. So I really enjoy those adjustable straps and they've got some like little seams on the back here, which I think are just really cute. Um, they kind of just line your back and make it look really cute, but this is pearl blue, the Bando sports bra. I'm in love, I'm in love. Next, I have the Bando sports bra in another color. This is the Bando, Bando sports bra. All of my sports bras are in a size medium um, that I ordered in this one. So this one is the Cornet blue, I wanna say. It's a little bit darker than the pearl blue like do a little comparison um obviously a little bit darker kind of like i don't know almost i want to say almost like it's definitely not a teal it's not a teal blue it's almost the pearl blue but just a few shades darker um super cute very flattering i'm definitely going to wear this with some of the old Vital Seamless colors that I have and some of the Evening Blue and Stellar Marl Blue Vital Seamless that I have. I love mismatching the blues. I also have blue nails on right now, if you can see my blue acrylics. Um, 
I love like mixing the blue shades. I think it's so much fun. So I'm very excited about these two pieces. Um, but this one is the Rouge sports bra in black in a size medium. I have this in the soft lilac color and I think I got that one in a large and I just washed it so that it was a little bit more snug. Um, you can never, ever, ever, ever have too many black sports bras. You just can't, it's not possible. So I think I have like three or four. So this will be my fourth or fifth. Um, but yeah, it's just got the little ruching in the middle. As you guys know, you'll see in the little try on, you can't really see in this lighting. I'm so sorry. Um, you'll definitely be able to see it in the try on, but it's just got the little ruching in the middle and the back straps are adjustable as well, which I love. Like having non adjustable straps is just crappy. So the fact that these ones are adjustable is great. And um, they cross in the back, which I think is so flattering, especially on back and by day, which is my favorite day. Um, and there's just like a little bit of mesh in the middle of the back, which I think is so cute. You'll probably see in the try on. Um, I don't know if this one is on the purple color. I'd have to look at it deeper, but I think that's a really cute detail that I didn't even notice before. It's the Roost Roost sports bra in a size medium in the color black because you can never have too many. So I got that. And then let's see, let's see. I'll go with the shorts again. This time I got another pair of the sweat seamless shorts. Um, what can I say? If I like it, I'm gonna buy it in a lot of colors, okay? And I have the um, Vital Seamless 2.0 shorts in the evening blue color and I love the color. Like I think it's so flattering. It's not a purple, but it's not a blue. It's just like the perfect blend, but it's not a gray. Like it's just the perfect color in my opinion. Um, and so I got these sweat seamless, sweat seamless shorts in a size large in the color evening blue. They're still the same little swoop waistband that you've got going on. Um, I am obsessed with the color. A size large fits me so well, and I definitely will not be drying them, and I will definitely be wearing them a lot um, because they don't have that like thong detailing that the original Sweat Seamless collection did, those colors. Um, and so I will definitely be wearing these to the gym more. I will say like right from the get go with this try on, the orange color is a little bit tighter than the evening blue color. Like I noticed that this, just like the back, um, there was like a little bit more fabric with it. So it's not as snug. Like here it's really snug on my waist. And I've got like the little bunching right here and stuff like that, which is what I want. And I have that with the blue ones too. But with the blue ones, and you might've been able to see, um, there's just like a little bit more fabric. And so I think that I'm gonna have to dry this color, the evening blue color, in order for it to like shrink up a little bit and get kind of snug like these orange ones. So I will say that there is a little bit of a difference but other than that, the feel is the same. It's buttery soft, like the waistband hugs me in in all the right ways. And so I will say that those things are the same, but this one in the back um, just had like a little bit more fabric. So I will probably be drying these ones. Okay, this is the last thing in this bag. This item is the Vital Seamless 2.0 Midi Tank in the color black marl in the size medium this is definitely not what i thought it was going to be um i have the like animal seamless tank top the purple one with like the little crisscrosses in the back um and it's very hugging very tight um very thick material this is what I thought that that was going to be. 
but it is definitely, definitely not. This material is a lot thinner, um, kind of like the Vital Seamless shorts, but almost not at the same time. Like it's a much thinner material than I thought it was going to be, which I don't mind because I think I have seven other black tank tops. Um, it's kind of an obsession and I'm definitely gonna wear it anyways. So whatever, but definitely way thinner, way light, like lighter material than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's got a cute little V-neck it doesn't have adjustable straps, but the straps are very stretchy, so it's not going to like dig into your skin, but they're also thick enough to where it's not just going to like do nothing. Um, and it's got the cute little Gymshark logo in the front and the back, which I think is really cute. Thank you for watching this part of the little haul, um, and I'm so excited to wear all of these to the gym.